Good day everyone! Before I start my presentation, let me introduce myself. I am Jonathan Argenta Rosilada, fourth year, taking up Bachelor in Agricultural Technology at Laguna State Polytechnic University, Lopez Satellite Campus. For the completion of this course, Appreciation of Literature, my topic is all about the necklace, written by Henry Guy D. Maupasan. First, I will discuss the character in the story. The second is the summary of the story. And the last is about the moral lesson from the story. Let's start with the character of the story. The first character is Madame Matilde Loisel. She is a selfish, aged, quickly, heavy road, and harassed and spoiled person. The second character is Monsignor Loisel. He is a kind of generous, loyal and hardworking, clerk of Ministry of Education and want to please his wife. And last but not the least, the third character is Madame Jean Forrester. She is a kind, generous, wealthy and snobby person. And now, let's move on to the summary of the story. This is a story about a plain woman who lives in France who thinks she deserves better in life. She wants to be beautiful, powerful, and respected by everyone, don't we all? But she is sad that she will never achieve this because she married a poor clerk. One day her husband says that they are invited to a banquet with a high social crowd. She gets upset because she has nothing to wear. Her husband has been saving money for a new gun but gives all of it to her for a new dress. As the date of the event approaches, she realizes that she needs jewelry. She doesn't have any, so she asks her friend if she can borrow a beautiful necklace. She wears it to the banquet, everyone loves her, and she has finally found happiness. After they return home, she realizes she has lost the priceless necklace. They try to search for it, but decide that they must replace it instead. After buying a few extra days with the necklace, the couple borrows money from anyone that they know in order to buy a replacement. They do in fact give the friend the new necklace back, but are left in so much debt that it takes them 10 years to pay it back. The woman has to scrub floors and her husband has to work several jobs. During this time, the woman grows tired and has aged considerably. Then one day the woman sees her friend, but her friend doesn't recognize her. The woman explains that she has had to work off the debt from the necklace that she had borrowed. The friend then explains that the original necklace was a fake. For the last part in our topic, let us move on in the moral lesson in the story. There are two lessons from the story. The first is wealth, privilege, passion, fancy jewelries, and high social status does not shape a person's character. But it is his or her personality that shape his or her character. The second is we should be happy and contented of what we are and what we have. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and enjoy my topic. Once again, I am Jonathan Argentero Silada, fourth year student of Bachelor in Agricultural Technology of Laguna State Polytechnic University, Lopez Satellite Campus. Just always remember, no farmer, no food, no future. Thank you.